Here we are. Don't you, don't you put me... Oh. Whoops. No. And we're leaving. And we're back. Woodstock! Welcome, Woodstock! How you doing, buddy? This is another really interesting but weird dungeon. Strangely pretty. Okay, been on the lurk. Oh, gotcha. No problem, Meng. I appreciate the lurks. I hope you got the, uh, the, the lore in. The spooky-ass gate. Things are good, man. How goes the battle? Pretty good, pretty good. We beat another boss. Um, we're working on... Working on another really, uh... Interesting boss fight. What a beautiful mansion. A nice little summer home, huh? I used to live here when I was a little girl. So, where's this flower anyway? Well, it's... Teehee! I forgot! Great. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's this way. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh. Good job, Lucia. Proud of you. Oh, just children. Children made of bugs. That are picking on Geppetto, holy crap. Uh, we got Domovoys and Catherines. Oh, I want to start playing Catherine again. I miss that game. Uh, I don't remember what element these things are. I want to say the Domovoys are light. I'll have to check. I think Yuri can take out one by himself, probably. So let's have Blanca and Karen take out one of the other ones. Lenny. I love Lenny. Such a sweet guy. He can't help it if he's evil. He's just... He's just a little bit slow in the head, okay? No bully. Oh, that reminds me, I need to give Karen her, uh, her seals. Um, Geppetto. Eh, why don't you just fire cast this thing? Just so it doesn't get another turn off. I think he'll kill it. Kind of wasteful, but whatever. Better than dying. Boom. No. They're so cute. I stand by Geppetto not being a creeper. I think he's just a sweet old man with a really weird obsession with his puppet. What are fierce monsters like that doing on a peaceful island like this? Gee, I wonder. All right. <laughs> well, Lucia's, she's, He's running uh, at about the same wavelength as Lenny, is, is what I'm gathering here. That's okay. She's hot. And that's all that matters, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. I've never actually gone through and like read the lore of all these monsters. I don't know, that's kind of like time consuming, but if you guys ever want me to just sit down and go through all the enemies, like they all have little blurbs about what they are and like the shit that they do, and how fucking spooky they are. Yeah, this one's a house spirit that gives good luck to residents but is cruel to invaders, going so far as to break all the invaders' fingers before chasing them out. 
Nice. That's a little boy. That's a little doll boy. Catherine, poison moth spirit hidden beneath pretty clothes. She pretends to be a little girl before being attacked by a moth to lure her victims close enough to strike. Okay. That's kind of gross. Oh, is she like hanging from like a... I think she's... Oh, you know what? I think that's like a... Oh, she is hanging by her arm. That's really weird. Ew, dude. Alright, that's kind of... Kind of spooky. Especially with the eyeballs on the moths. I didn't notice that before. Alright, that's good. That's fine. That's fine. Hit area expand. Okay. Very weird design to this place. It reminds me a lot of, um... Oh, hello. You're new. Oh, and you're Earth. Good to know. Who's going next? You two. Okay. Um... Let's see if we can take him out with this. Yes. Ow, dude. Those things hurt, man. Actually gonna have her combo with Geppetto instead. Azuri should be able to just kill one on his own. Um Yeah. go. Smash that child's head in. Good job, Yuri. True hero. Let's go ahead and heal up Blanca. Or Poopy. Yeah, what was I saying? This place really reminds me of, um, Haunting Grounds. That's what it is. Something about those windows. Okay, what's going on in here? Fancy. Weird ass house. Oh, I remember the flowers grow in the courtyard up ahead. Up ahead? But there are three doors. Let's see. Was it the door on the right? I think it was. But it could be the door on the left. Eeny, meeny, miny. I think it's the one in the middle. Tee hee hee. Jesus Christ, Lucia. Well, whatever. Let's just try opening them all. It's a good thing you got your looks, Lucia. You are a... You're a very special girl. But there's something on the doors. I wonder what those things are. Oh, that's right. Those are frames on the doors for fading zodiac tiles into. The poems are hints. If we put the zodiac tiles into the frames just right, according to the poem's hints, the doors will open. A complicated setup. But of course you know all the answers to the puzzles. Puzzles, right? Yeah, of course. She lived here. Oh, of course. Easy. Let's see, we put the sign of the shrimp here, and the sign of the turtle over there. Those... Those aren't... yeah. Those zodiac signs don't exist. Well, there's only one thing to do. We'll have to collect all the zodiac tiles and figure it out ourselves. Okay. It's a good thing we've got her here to lead us, right? Virgo, Aquarius, and Tauros tile. Alright, that's already won. Yeah, just want to make sure that I'm not going to miss anything. Ah, yep. Seal of the soul. It's a really good thing I made sure I wasn't missing anything because that is one of the mo most important seals in the entire game. And there are very few of them. This is just a treasure laying out here. Oh, Libra, Aries, and Capricorn tile. Nice. And a lottery ticket. Yeah, what the seal of the soul does, it increases your maximum SP which is 
incredibly important, especially for characters like Karen who have naturally low SP. Oh. Because it means that they won't go insane as easily. Huh? I am the Ring Soul, the Will of the Judgment Ring, the administrator of all fate. Right? <laughs> now you're clucking your tongue. Here. Um, the power to command the Judgment Ring. It'll help you carve your way through destiny. Where's the poetry? The romance? Stop bullying, Yuri. I'll appear again to give you more power and I'm watching to see if... Hey, hey, come on. You're truly the one to command destiny, okay, bye. Wow. <laughs> huh? You really pissed him off, Yuri. He's my best friend. Star key. Alright. It's probably for the other room that we couldn't go in. I bet this key will unlock it. It sure did, Yuri. Good job, buddy. There's a little fun gimmick that we can do here. There's just some free food and tea sitting out here. There's a plate of fortune cookies here. Eat one? Sure or nah, they're probably stale. Well... Mysterious fortune cookies that have been sitting out on a table for God knows how long with a bunch of monsters running around. Sure, I'll have one. You found a fortune inside the cookie. Today's fortune? I suppose you could say your mind was feeling just a little bit frazzled. Your mind feels a little weary. Hmm. Yeah, that drained some of our MP. Let's see what else we get. Oh, your body's condition is feeling so-so. Not too bad, not all that great. Your body's fatigue has eased some. So that's probably a little heal. Alright. Where's the where's the freaking one that's just straight up your fortune cookie is filled with anthrax or something like that? That's the one I'm looking for. Uh your body's feeling fairly good. More healing? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's just that's just HP. You ever get any crazy ones? Physically, you've been driving yourself too hard. Your body is weary. Oh yeah, look at that. Cut all of our HP in half. I'm I'm just gonna kill myself on these fucking corching corching cookies. Hmm. Alright, let's go again. I don't have an addiction. I can stop whenever I want. Oh. Man, these fortune cookies are fucking us up. I don't know if you ever get any, like, extreme ones. I'll try it a couple more times. Alright, well, the fortune cookies have completely killed our entire team. Try one more time. Nope. Alright, well. We're not gonna eat any fortune cookies. Shit's bad for you. Lay off the carbs, lay off the sugar, you know? This game is just a statement on America's addiction to sugar and fatty foods, you know? That's why I really respect it. Sagittarius, Pisces, Scorpio. We also eat a lot of fatty foods. Hey, don't don't be marching in on America's territory here, okay? You f you fit you fit healthy, sexy Canadians. Stay in your lane. There you go. Bite that child's head off. Good boy, Blanca. Blanca eats a healthy diet of cockroaches and demon children. Be a good boy. Okay, this is interesting. 
Oh, that's right. Only people with blood type AB can open this door. Are you AB? No, Carla is AB. I'm type B. I guess she was trying to keep me out of mischief. What? I don't get it. I think that has something to do with, like, the Japanese, uh, obsession with blood type. It told me in the service I was type A. Too bad. I don't know my blood type. I don't know mine either. Me neither. That's alright, we can all just give it a shot anyway. This room is set up so that if you try that door and fail even once, a really great treasure inside disappears. Oh. Well? And see those hearts? If two people stand on them, they can check their blood types. Ooh, okay. Hot. If the two people have blood types that don't mix, the lamp overhead will light. Hmm. I heard about blood types once. They say A and B don't mix with each other, but that type O mixes with either. Luckily, I may B and Lucia is B. All we have to do is find someone who makes the light, the lamp light with both of us. As soon as you find someone, that person just has to go back and touch the door. So we're going to be doing a little bit of Japanese uh, matchmaking here. Seeing whose blood types are compatible. That's hot. So what do you want to do? Compare and find someone or just go on? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to give it a shot. I think I already know the answer, to be honest. I think I remember it. Uh, so we just need a person that lights it up for both Karen and Lucia. If I remember correctly, I think it's Geppetto, but I want to see if we get any unique dialogue by, um, by just trying different combos. So, Yokim with Karen. Oh, it's not a match. But come on, Yuri, Yuri with Karen though, right? I mean, come on. That's my OTP. <gasps> oh, I'm heartbroken. I just want to see. Hmm. So Yuri's blood type doesn't mix with either of them. Wait, what does that mean? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's Geppetto. I don't really know how blood types work. It's been a long time since I learned about that. Yeah, there we go. The lamplet. That means your types... That means your two blood types don't mix. Wait, that they don't mix or that they do mix? Hold on. If the test subject lights the lamp when comparing with A only, he's B. If he lights it with B only, he's A. If he doesn't light with a lamp with A or B, he's O. Oh, okay, so Yuri is O. If he lights it with A and B, he must be A, B. Got it. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Is it that O is the universal giver? but can only receive other typos, right? I think that's right. Woodstock, you're you're like a science man. You're, you're basically a doctor. That's how that works, right? AB universal receiver. Do you boys know your blood types? I sure as hell don't. All right, so it's Geppetto. Gotta have Geppetto open the door. There's a note on the door. Let's see what it says here. Mischief free zone. If anybody but an AB blood type touches this door, the treasure will disappear. Love, Carla. Should we touch the door? Uh, yeah. Who should touch the door? Geppetto. Hey, I heard the door unlock. I guess I have AB blood. Yeah. I think I can get A can get from A, B can get from B, and others work with 
minus plus confuses me. Yeah, I've never understood that. That's that's the part where things get weird. So yeah, we get the rest of the tiles in there. And then our secret treasure, which is Petrify 1. Honestly, not all that great. But whatever, we'll take it. It can be handy against some uh some enemies. The big boys. Alright, I guess we'll head on out. Numerology I don't understand. I met a woman who was obsessed with it once. Thought she was a, a psychic who could see into the future. Pretty wild stuff. My brother's wife's mom doesn't like fans in a room. Thinks it kills people. What? That's weird. You'll find true love on flag day. That's really weird. I've never heard of that superstition. Interesting. In a way, I get it because if something happens, you can take care of each other. Still weird. Pretty broad, ec eccentric stuff in them. I mean, half the time, they don't even make any amount of sense at all. I mean, fortune cookies are the lowest tier of freaking fortune telling there is. It's literally just a bunch of printed out shit that they put inside of little cookies, which are put in every single Chinese restaurant in the entire world, so... I don't think anybody takes those too seriously. But palm readings, fuck yeah. I'm gonna base my entire life off that. I'm just not for fortune telling. Yeah, I, I think it's all bullshit myself, but I just think it's fun, you know? It's fun to think about. Alright, here we go. This is our first riddle, the hero. To protect the children, the archer waits, bow in hand, to shoot the wild beast approaching from the distance. Alright, well that's easy enough. So it's gonna be children, uh, archer, and then a beast. So, uh, what would be the child's zodiac? That'd be Gemini. Two brothers. And then Archer is Sagittarius? Yes. And then the Beast. The Beast could be either Tauros or Leo. Oh, there we go. You hear the door unlock. Perfect. There we go. That's our first one. Easy, easy. I predict a pizza in my near future. Oh, dude, hook me up, please. Please, man. I could go for some pizza. In the desert, water is a treasure. To win her, offer the maiden her weight in water placed in earthen water jugs. This is the maiden. So that's obviously the Virgo. And we're doing- we're dealing with scales, so... This is gonna be Libra. Libra's gonna be at the bottom. Cause that's the scale. And her weight in water, that would be Aquarius. So Libra... Um, her weight in water, so... What's weighing it down would be water. So that's Aquarius. And then Virgo at the top. That's my sign. I'm the virgin. Look how pretty I am. Like that? Yeah, look at me. I'm like an astrologer and shit. On evolution. First it came from the sea. It grew legs so it could play in the shoal. Then it developed poison to protect itself. Okay, this one's easy. Poison. That's going to be Scorpio. It grew legs. I know I'm kind of working through this backwards, but... This one's pretty simple. That'd be a crab, because crabs have legs, and it comes from the sea. And then this one would be Pisces, the fish. Alright. And just one more. The value of livestock. Getting cheese is better than only wool. But getting succulent meat is the best thing of all. Okay, so meat would be at the top. Taurus? Taurus being meat? Hold on, let me read that again. Cheese is better than only wool. Okay. So goat, goat in the middle. That's gonna be Capricorn. And... Aries the lamb. No, Aries was a lamb. You hear the door unlock. Here we go. That's all of them. Easy. 
broad stuff, common generic stuff that anyone would guess. Yeah, it's kind of the same way with a lot of, uh, a lot of horoscope stuff, I find. But people just eat that crap up. How close are we to getting another level? Uh, let's get- let's let Geppetto get one more level in. Cause this next boss can be a pain in the ass. Dance his damn head off. Bye bye. Forget Yuri. Swarm MVP. Alright, let's do this. Let's get this damn flower. Alright, children, anyone under, under the age of 18, please look away. This is not safe for work, officially. Alright? Alright. Oh, it's so beautiful! Isn't it, though? Oh. What's up, Lucia? What are you up to, girly? Aw, oh, going flower picking together. <gasps> oh, you... You mischievous little fourth wall breaker. She winked at me, you guys. You saw that? Oh, and there it is. That is one giant pussy. Oh, the best line of the entire game. <laughs> nice. Huh? Andre, go on ahead and get them. Lucia, how could you? Huh? Wait a minute. Stop! I'm your master. Did you forget who I am? It looks like it's trying to eat her. Maybe we should try and help. I think you're right. Well, this is embarrassing. Alright. It's time to pound some pussy. It's time to pound some pussy. Stop stealing my money, you jerk! Okay, that's good. He went for Karen twice. That means it's easy healing for us. Just throw a stera seed on her? Yeah. She should probably heal Blanca. Get slow or some kind of debuff on this guy. Ow. Alright, as long as he keeps focusing targets with his weakest attack, that's fine. We can put up with that. And 
just keep going with the aqua cast. Oh, Geppetto. Oh, he's dead. Gotta heal up Karen now. Geppetto's dead again. Man, if I hit that strike on the revival item, I wonder if he would have lived. Yeah, he would have. Heals for 63. That's my bad. Sorry, Geppetto. Fuck. I need these strikes, man. One for Karen. Don't die. Don't die. Okay. not good. Yeah, you're not allowed to die, Blanca. Hmm. Put Aqua Edge on Yuri. worth it that is though. Ah, uh, screw it. Let's do it. Are you kidding me? Don't you freaking dodge? Give me that little cute meow. You know I can't stay mad at that. No, dude, I'm fucking this up. We could have had it this run. You killing Karen? go.
that cat lickety split. I'm I'm a try, man. I'm a try. Okay, that was actually a really good turn. You just focus down Yuri. Karen's gonna go crazy. Why are you going crazy, Karen? It's a giant pink cat. Settle down, girl. Emulator, are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna drop all the frames like that? Oh my god, that might have just lost us this entire fight. Fuck off, game. Fake ring. <sighs> I'm not out of this yet. Stop stealing my money, you jerk. She lived. We just, we just got to kill this thing at this point. Oh, I need the strikes though. I'm getting nervous. Shit. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh no. Oh no. This is gonna come down to fucking fake ring, isn't it? Oh wait, we can't combo. Otherwise he'll go insane. <sighs> Alright, Geppetto. Finish this. Finish this, please. Whew. Come on. Yes. Whew. Level 17, my ass. Oh my god, my heart is racing. Why was that cat so fucking intense, dude? Why was that freaking giant pink cat the hardest fight that we've had so far? Oh. I'm like shaking, dude. <laughs> we did it! Ah, oh, I screwed up so bad, but we still managed to beat it. Hey, Lucia, you wanna explain what the hell that was about? Oh, you try to- you try to feed us to your pussy, you dirty, dirty girl? Are you alright? Oh, thank you! Just what were you trying to pull anyway? I'm so sorry. You see, we thought Sapientis Gladio sent you after us. Oh, they thought we were part of them. You thought we were from Sapientes Gladio. We've had hitmen pretending to be customers sent to us before, and every time I'd bring them to bring them to this island. And feed them to Andre? Teehee! Well, <laughs> fucking Lucia. <laughs> yeah, she's just gonna. She just laughs about it. Yeah, I watched a bunch of dudes get mauled and eaten by a giant pink cat. What about it? A little bit of a sociopath. So you oppose the, the society too, eh, miss? That's right, ever since Carla ran away from them, they've had it in for us. Thanks, boys. I did it because you believed in me. And now you know we're fighting against the secret society too, right? Right. All right. Well, 
Carla, you got some explaining to do. Beat up your giant freaking pussy. She's in that kind of war. Lucy is into all kinds of weird shit, I'm sure. Just look at her. Something something ain't right with that girl's head. You don't have to say a word. I saw everything through this mirror. So you trust us now? Sure. Sorry, but the flower I had you go get isn't the real Adriatic Magnolia. I feel bad for tricking you. Hmm. Take this as a token of apology and gratitude. I hope you'll get some use out of it. Oh, thanks. I don't like to remember, but I guess there are some things I'd better tell you. Yeah, we need an explanation, Miss Carla. Oh, hello. I was young and beautiful once, too. Loving life full of dreams, I was. But those girlish dreams didn't last. Men used me and threw me out like trash. I was hurt and bitter then. That's when it happened. Damn. She was a real bombshell back in the day. They weren't lying. A secret group called Sapientes Gladio invited me to join them. Desperate, I joined and even took on disciples to be my successors. But wow. the violence was too much for me, and I ran away from them. Oh, shit. They chased me for years, and always I managed to evade them. Aww. Finally, I wound up here. This baby Lucia. I've been with this one ever since then. You. So Granny was a real OG back in the day, huh? I suppose no matter how much you try to turn a blind eye, you can never escape your true destiny. Carla? Lucia, the stars have turned. It's time for you to start your journey. Oh baby, you know what that means, guys. I've always wanted to make up for that girl going down the wrong path. Now that burden falls to you, I'm afraid. All right, so I'm going to I'm just going to spoil what she means here because it's not really expounded on in this version of the game. Carla here was actually um an, another apprentice of Carla's was actually Veronica, the BDSM warlock. Yeah, so when she goes that girl going down the wrong path, um, but Veronica was one of Carla's disciples when she first joined Sapientes Gladio. And yeah, so like, there's a little mini rivalry between Lucia and Veronica. And they go, they, they explain it a little bit better in the director's cut version of the game. There's a couple more scenes between Lucia and Veronica, but it's, it's barely mentioned in this version. So that's what's going on here. It's not a burden, Carla, and I've always wanted to go on a little adventure. And as your successor, I want to make you proud of me. So where does it get told? Um, there's a f there's a couple cutscenes, not really like major cutscenes, like these kinds of cutscenes where it's just not voice acted, where Lucia and Veronica meet up and they kind of exchange like, "Hey, we're gonna have to kill each other," you know that? And Lucia's like, "Yep, I'm sticking with Yuri and pals now." So, I mean, it's just, it's not a, like a big deal. It's just a way of making Lucia more involved in the plot. Uh, really, she's just kind of a, uh, she's a guilty pleasure character. She's funny, she's hot, but she has no relevance to the actual story. So basically in the director's cut, they, they went more into her backstory between her and Veronica. Uh, did I read this already? And as your successor, I want to make you proud of me. There you go. I'll tell you where the society's branch headquarters are in this town. The man you're looking for might be there. Oh, sweet. Thank you, Carla. And so, if none of you mind, I'll join you on your journey. After almost feeding us to a giant cannibalistic cat. I guess it's not cannibalism. You know what, in that case, yeah. Go ahead, go on ahead. Welcome to the team. Sure, glad to have you. Okay, Karen's fine with it. 
And here are some things that'll be perfect for your trip, these mysterious enchanted herbs. But are you sure? I haven't really perfected how to mix those yet. <laughs> give me them good give me that good kush, Carla. You've been slacking off on your studies again, girl. Oh well, take them along anyway. Practice makes perfect. Got the ocean oil and the misty oil. Yeah, that's for the aromatherapy stuff. But uh yeah, they're not useful until later. Herbs have lots of different effects de depending on how you use them. Try every combination you can. I'll be praying for your good fortune. Be careful on your journey. Thanks, Carla. Hey guys, thank you for watching. You can check me out live at twitch.tv slash shaggy, sir.